everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my iced coffee, and it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. It looks so, it looks nice in here. Let me show you. There's my comfy bed, and Miss Judy is taking a little nap. Yes, I make my bed every morning. And there's my ice chest. And there's my wood-burning stove that's not installed yet. Nope, not yet. It's going to go out through the wall, and then it's going to come up above the roof. And there's my little chicken booter thing. And see how I had to, right there, kind of fortify the the outside a little bit because they were just kicking straw. I was having to vacuum three and four times a day. I vacuumed last night and you can see it's already got some straw out there. And there's my kitchen area. And look at that. There's my Berkey. Just look how beautiful it looks sitting there. It arrived in perfect condition. Absolutely no flaws. The shininess just really adds something to this little kitchen area. Now I don't know if this is going to be its final resting place. I kind of wanted to put it over there where the coffee is, but I was afraid that the door would catch the little spigot thing. So for now I'm just going to leave it right here. And it is just the perfect size. I just I cannot believe I have a Berkey. And it's got two black filters in it. I primed them yesterday. It will filter up to 6,000 gallons of water. It removes 99.99% .99 of all toxins, bacteria, viruses, bad chemicals, bad metals, bad minerals, all the stuff that you don't want in your water. It takes it right out. So just look at that. Look at that. I wish the sun was better coming in. Oops, I've got dishes to do. <laughs> Anyhow, I need to get going. Let's see what we're going to get into today. I think I need to go visit Mr. Lucas. Yeah, I'm taking my ball up on the porch and you guys can't have it. These two fools, they're just like, I don't care. I'm just going to run around. They could probably do this literally for hours. Hey, crazy dogs. <laughs> what you doing, Chapo? Yep, I can hear it. I hope we get some rain. <laughs> Judy loves to play. Woo! What you doing, Chapo? Oh, we got all three of them now. You guys just gotta be right up here. Hey, Miss Dinah. She's like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Go! Go, puppies! Alright, so Mr. Lucas, what is the most important thing you can ever teach anybody in life? Love and respect. There you go. It's just that simple, isn't it? You got that right. What else? Calm down and not worry about worry so much. That's good advice. I should I should take that advice myself. I mean, it's, it's the way things are today. You just gotta live day to day and have respect and love the good Lord. Amen. Amen. And well, Je Jesus Christ. You got that right. Well, everybody has been wondering how your wife is doing, so can you give everybody an update on how your wife is doing? She's doing great. Yeah? She's coming home Saturday. Yay! The prayers have worked. Is she bearing weight? You got that right. Is she bearing weight on that leg? No, you're not putting much weight on it. Uh, the bone doctor told her that, that she, <laughs> she can come home. And she said, I told him. I told him, I, 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 I'm going to tell him I'm going home. And he says, you can go home. No problem. 
<laughs> right on. Now tell me um, what happened if you can. I know you've told me before, but I haven't really explained it to every to everybody. What happened when she initially broke her leg? She got up and had gotten her was walking with her walker and went down, and it broke. She broke her left leg. Yeah. And uh, before last year, she broke. She fell, went down, and broke here, this one, and fractured. And fractured the other. Oh my gosh! So where did she break it this time? On uh, her ankle. Yeah. And her left leg. And I guess it looked pretty bad when you found her, right? Oh my god! It just the bone come out like that. Oh my goodness! Put the skin, and, and one bone was here, and the other was sticking like that. It was like that, and she had no feelings. That's a blessing from God. No feelings. Well, she wasn't in pain, so that's a good thing. Yep. So, how long has she been in rehab? Since May. Oh my goodness. She was in the hospital back and forth, and over here for a month or so, a couple of months. Uh, well, she's been, well, in the hospital and. Uh, we have for since May, around the first of May, second or third, whatever, somewhere in the afternoon. Yeah. How many times have you gotten to see her since I've then? Seen her, seen her one, two, two times. Two times, and that's because of this virus, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I bet you that was really hard not being able to see her. Oh yeah. Well, she's coming home Saturday. Right on. Awesome. It's night night time. Let's see what the chickens are up to. Man, I was really hoping I'd be able to catch the chickens doing their little routine and then going up with the big chicken. I don't know which one it is. I think it's Sunshine, you know, calling out to the other chicks, but they were kind of out of their element this time. I forgot to put that uh, little ramp thing back in after I cleaned it today. And, I mean, they can get back up in there. They can fly, but um, they prefer to kind of just mosey up there because the big chicken, and I'm pretty sure it's sunshine, she'll get up to about right here and start chirping really, really loudly, and then the other chickens will come up after her. And 
you can't see them, but they're all in there clustered together. They're so cute. But anyhow, this is what my tiny house looks like at night. It's so dark. But look at this. I've got a little candle going. And this is my Berkey. I've put it together. And it just kind of shines against the Berkey. And it looks so pretty. And then there's my little refrigerator. And I've got a little candle over there. That's where I sit most of the time. And I've got my little lantern here. I've got two others that I use. One out by the the wood, the stove out back and then one out front on the porch. And I don't know if you can see, but Judy's over there taking, well, she's, she's down for the count. She had a big day today. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.